Hello, this is Lorenzo from Event Espresso, and in this video I'll show you how to set up a custom registration approved message template for virtual events. If you want to save time by including access to an online event in the registration confirmation email, then this video is for you. Right now we are viewing the default message templates screen and the easiest way to get to this screen is if you're viewing your WordPress dashboard, look to the left of your screen, hover over Event Espresso and click on Messages. Then on the next page, click on the Default Message Templates tab. So for this video, we are focusing in on the Registration Approved Message Template. This template is used after a successful registration. So if an event is free, as in no cost, this email is triggered right after a registration. And if you have a paid event, then it is triggered after an attendee registers and pays you online. All right, so what we're gonna do next is click on this Create Custom button here on the right side. And remember that we are editing the registration approved message template. So I'll click on that and next, I'm going to click on the drop down here in the top left. So I'm going to select registrant and then I'm going to click on switch recipient. Okay, so now we've edited the message template so that we are viewing the correct recipient for our custom template. So let's continue by updating the name so it's easily recognizable. So we can replace this with something like virtual events. Then we're going to scroll down, go past the main content area to the event underscore list area. There are two sections that we're going to make changes to. The first is right here where it has the physical details for the venue. And the second is right here where it has even more details for the physical venue. Okay. So let's start with the top section. So what I'll do is begin removing those short codes. And then I'll click on venue title. And then I'll click on this pencil icon here. And the default short code that is set is venue underscore URL, but we're gonna swap that out to virtual underscore URL. So the updated short code is virtual underscore URL. Then I'll click on the apply button. And next I'm going to select these details here and then remove them since they're no longer needed. And now I can add in the short code and it's the one that we just used. So it is virtual underscore URL. And what I'll do is I'll copy that. Now I wanna set a link on this. So what I'll do is up here on the toolbar, I'll click on the link icon and then I'll paste in the short code, which is again, virtual underscore URL and then I'll click on apply. So we've just removed the physical venue details and replaced them with the virtual venue details. We need to apply one more change so that these updated short codes work correctly. So in the top right here, there is a text tab. Click on that. And we're going to highlight the HTTP section here. So I've highlighted it so you can see it. And then we want to remove only that section. So we'll just remove that. Then we need to make this change one more time. So I'll scroll down and then highlight just that HTTP part. And then again, we want to remove only that. So I'll remove that. Then we can switch back to the visual tab. So I'll switch back and then I'll click on save up here in the top right. And we've just saved changes, so our message template is ready to go. Let me scroll back down and give you an overview of how this all works together. So what will happen next is this template will be connected to an event through the event editor in the lower part of the page under the notifications area. Once it's set, then Event Espresso will begin using this updated message template as an attendee registers. And then what will happen is these 
shortcodes that we added here where it says virtual underscore URL, this is going to be pulled from a virtual venue. And the reason why we set it up this way is this approach gives you the flexibility to use this for virtual events while also having the flexibility to also host in-person events. I also like this approach because it works very well for teams. So for example, if you focus on certain types of events, but another colleague or team member focuses on another type, another set of events, they can actually use something similar and when an attendee registers, they'll get the correct link to the online event ahead of time. So that is an overview of how to set up a custom registration approved message template for virtual events. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks.